So I am about to go and collect Judith Frankel. Um, never met her before. I have a photograph so I know what she looks like. I don't think she knows what I look, look like. I forgot to send her the photograph. But anyway, we're going into the station now. And I'm nervous. I'll be honest with you. I'm a little bit nervous. We have a job to do. We're going to ask some questions. Of course, nothing's open. Everything's empty. Um, and we're both probably going to have a lot of emotions, you know. But we're both here to do a job, and that is to find out what happened to our loved ones. Hmm, how do I get out of here? So I think that's her over there, and I'm just going to go up to her and say who I am. Um, yeah, a bit emotional. Judith? Oh. It's Amanda. I'm sorry I'm filming you because I just want to make sure that we catalogue every moment. I'm a little bit nerdy like that. Okay. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Nice to Hi meet there. You. Hi. Are we in the shop? Hi. Ooh. Ooh. I guess yeah. we're in France. <laughs> two, two, you get two kisses for everyone here, which is which is great. So Good work somewhere. Yeah. There. So yeah. here we are together. Under I would say quite tragic and emotional circumstances I say that yeah big time so we'll have a little chat about that yeah maybe we can find some place to just go and sit and have a coffee and uh, get to know each other a little bit and make a plan that's a great idea and I so I a... I'm actually gonna just take you to our car and there's a bit of a story behind the car um, I know that I told you I was gonna rent a car yeah um, well the situation to take care of that You've just arrived and actually, no, I, I took care of it. But you're never going to believe the story. Okay. The story is, I went to go rent a car and you can't rent a car anywhere here. I don't understand. I don't either. You, you can't rent a car, so I actually had to go and buy a car. They don't have Uber or a taxi? They don't have any of that here. That wasn't a sponsored placement, by the way. That's a big they don't change. Have, they don't have any of that here, so I had to go buy a car. So it, she's a little bit of a old lady mm -hmm. but she goes and that's the main thing I uh, just want to tell you though um, when I went to meet the buyer I went down a country lane I thought I was going to get murdered but actually I just got ripped off okay pay way too much money I need for this a little car. time to acclimate this is a lot of information for me yeah it's I'm sorry like I know that you're probably I'm quite really, grounded and normal well, I'm grounded but I'm also kind of emotional because yeah this is where my brother disappeared or was killed supposedly and I'm just, this is it, I'm here, and it's very emotional. Right, okay, you got, okay, you got to guess which one is the car. Just guess. Which one is the car, do you think? It's, it's right, it's around here. <laughs> the first one, I'll guess. No, not the first one, that would be, that'd be quite nice. No, yeah. it's this okay. green beauty right here. Okay, as long as it works, it's fine with me. You know what? I don't have a car apparently it York, does I, just, <laughs> I had to pay a I fortune rent. yeah for f insurance but apparently uh it does oh look at that vehicle i could have picked you up in one of those <laughs> i just wanted to know though that the reason i'm being quite um funny is because i have a hard time expressing emotion so i act a bit quirky i know that you've just met me and it's probably yeah, too much information, information but i do know that you're a psychotherapist and that actually mm -hmm. makes me feel better mm -hmm. Okay, so... So, should that make me feel better? <laughs> well... I'm making a joke. I'm okay. It's fine. Let's just, okay. just go. Let's get just go. Coffee. Let's okay. go get our coffee. I just arrived in Rusniak. My name is Judith Frankel. And I'm the sister of my dear brother, Dave Frankel. Who supposedly died in a car crash year two years ago. I don't buy it. Something's not right. I wasn't able to travel here to investigate for myself because of the pandemic. And the authorities did not release the proper information to me. There was no autopsy done. There was no real evidence. I'm a professional from New York City, a psychotherapist. And believe me, I'm here to analyze. What happened to my brother? Who weighed my friend? My name is Amanda Jones and I'm the sister of Catherine Grayston. 
and with my new friend Judith, who I just met today in Rosignac, um, I too am perplexed, surprised, shocked, don't believe the official story that my sister just died in a car crash conveniently right before the pandemic happened and there was no inquiry, there were no autopsies, nothing. Um, and I know my sister and she called me one day from Rosignac on holiday and I knew there was something wrong. I, I had this feeling something was going on and I couldn't put my finger on it. I thought maybe it was between her and Tom. But you know what, now, now that this has all happened, I'm here to find out some answers. I want answers and I want to know what happened to my sister, really happened to my sister and I'm not going to stop until I get those answers. Hello, so this is um, Amanda and Judith, and this is our first time meeting together. Um, we wish the circumstances were, were better and happier, but we're here to do something, and we both, um, we're both people that won't get pushed around, and we've just had, a, anyway, just had a nice little coffee in this lovely little cafe in Rusignac. It's a very charming place. It is a very charming place. I wish that uh, I'd be able to enjoy it more but maybe eventually I'll well, and I'm just really grateful that you're here too you know, to find out we're gonna ask some questions we're gonna see how far we get um, but we're certainly not gonna accept what the official story is no and we're maybe gonna go check out some of the places that our family members went to and just just get a sense of it right yeah because all the information that David gave me was that he was having a fantastic time here and I look forward to visiting some of those places that he'd enjoyed. So we're on our way to uh, Jeet and that's a rental property here. There's no um, Airbnb or anything like that here apparently. So um, this is word of mouth. We have no idea what the place is gonna look like, but that's a lake. Um, Judith quite sensibly offered to drive, even though she's uh, come thousands of miles. She saw me back out of the car park and offered very graciously to drive us to the Jeet, which was very kind and sensible. So here we are on our way to a little village which, uh, don't know, I can't remember the name, something, something, and um, it's a converted barn and um, they only take cash, which is weird, isn't it? Really? I gave them a load of cash. Well, yeah, I, I certainly know I'm not in New I don't York know how City many bedrooms. What's that? I'm certainly not in New York City. You can't rent a car. Nobody takes... Interesting. Oh. I'm sure he understood my French as well when I asked for two rooms, so we'll see. I think it's up here, Judith. Um, it, he wrote it on the back of a napkin. Uh, yeah. There's a church down on the right and he just said go left. So oh, I see a church, okay. You do? Yeah. Oh, so there you are. left here? Yep, go left. Left and then a gauche, a gauche, dude, a gauche. I'm trying to practice some French so I'm not completely lost. There's a lot of forest around here, I'll tell you that much. Mm. Don't yeah, we got a bit lost, but um, I think it's for, it's down this road, he said, down, down past this house. Apparently, it's uh. Should be a little. He showed me a photo. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's it. Lots and lots and lots. I mean, basically, it's a wall of forest. So at the bottom here, wow, this is a cute little garden. Apparently, this is this is for us. Um, hold on. Wow, Judith, this is adorable. I just can't wait to get some shut eye, actually.
me again. So that's a tour of our little um, barn slash jeet accommodation that we'll be staying in. And um, actually now that I'm alone, what I wanted to do is uh, just uh, share with you that I might have come across a little bit bonkers and insensitive in the first few clips because I was very nervous and anxious um, about meeting Judith. She's uh, got quite a reputation as a very famous psychoanalyst and I, uh, you know, it's also a very emotional subject. We're both coming here to try and solve the mystery of our loved one's disappearance, my sister, her brother, but um, sometimes I can get a little bit crazy in terms of not expressing myself correctly and so I think that Judith um, <clears throat> may have been a little bit overwhelmed by my uh, quite bubbly personality given the circumstances. So that might be another reason why she's gone down the road just to have a bit of peace and quiet. So I'm going to do some meditation and calm down, ground myself uh, because we do have a job to do. We do. Um, Basically, what we need to do is, uh, now that we're in the jeet, now that we've got the car, I think the first few steps will be to share the map with you guys, and you know what the basically the, the plot is. You know, you know what happened here. <clears throat> and I will take you with me. Um, 